Hey y'all, this is Daryl. And Kim. And we are RV Adventure. Uh, stop the madness. Start the adventure. Uh, well, we're in the in the uh, fifth wheel, the 2011 Landmark, and uh, we're enjoying it. Kim has got everything pretty well in its place. I think she's got everything figured out. Uh, the right dishes in the right cabinet and the food in the right place. Changed it up a few times. But I think she finally figured out what she wanted to do. Uh, when we bought this coach, uh, what was it, in December, we knew there was a few things that we had to do to it. So we bought it used since it was 2011. One of the uh, things that we needed to do here, uh, we thought of, was put a washer and dryer in this unit. Uh, for the last couple months, Kim and I have either been doing the laundry here at the uh, RV park that we're at, or we went to town and tried to do that one time at a, a local laundromat in town. Daryl loved it. Uh, Daryl didn't love it. <laughs> so with that uh, uh, excitement adventure, <laughs> I decided to stop the madness, and we got serious about looking for a washer and dryer. And what did you come up with, Kim? I searched and searched and searched on Craigslist, and I finally found one. Yep, took us a, took us about two months. We found yeah. one locally. Uh, it was a used unit, but it was in really good condition. Uh, so we went and looked at it and uh, tested it out right there on the side. We wanted to make sure it heated up. Uh, the water all went through the cycles and everything, so we felt confident. Plus, we got a guarantee if we bought it and got it here, and if it didn't work, we could take it back. So and it was actually an RV. Yeah, it was one Set made for it, and I'll show you here in a minute. We got it for four hundred dollars. Now these units go anywhere from twelve hundred to sixteen hundred dollars new, and just a lot of times used they go for eight hundred fifty nine hundred dollars. So we thought it was a good deal uh, for what we do and the long term camping that we stay at and the minimal clothes that we have. It only makes sense, uh, you know, to put it in here. Kim doesn't have to go out in the rain or the winter, or she can just throw a load in there and keep up with it. So. Uh, Let's uh, go take a look at it. I want to explain to you how it works in this unit and what we had to do to get it installed. Okay, Kim, so here we have it inside the closet. As you uh, noticed in one of our earlier videos, you come right in the door and there's basically a closet here, but uh, it's also set up for a washer and dryer that you can put in. The wash machine is down on the bottom and the dryer's up on top. All the way in the back, on that back wall back there it is roughed in for a uh, wash machine it's got hot and cold water with a drain there in the back over on this wall over here this wall goes out to the exterior and that is where you put the vent for the dryer if you do not have a ventless dryer and this unit here did not have any markings or anything on the exterior wall to show us where to put the hole to drill it out so bearing my experience in drilling holes in the side of RVs especially this one Kim made an executive decision and what was that decision Kim to call someone that actually knows what they're doing that's what we did we <laughs> called Gary at North, North Shore, Shore RV uh, he does a lot of work on RVs on the North Shore here of Lake Pontchartrain we're north of New Orleans. Uh, he's mobile. He'll come to your site. He does a lot of stuff with the coaches. As far as the coach goes, he doesn't do any motor work or transmissions. But if you need something done, that something's wrong with your coach. Warranty work, it, anything. He is licensed and ready to do it. He's been doing it a long time. He's really a good guy and he'll treat you fair. We've known him for quite some time. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on the outside of where this vented through. It's gonna be hard to show you in here. I'll try to give it a shot, but I'm gonna go outside and show you where Gary put this in outside. Beautiful day here in Louisiana, Mardi Gras season, the parades. So there is where it came out right there. This is, as you can see, chrome plated. Uh, I might look into get it, getting something painted that'll match the background there. But it came right out through that closet and i'm sure it's gonna be hard to see but it does have a flapper up underneath for weather guard but when the dryer comes on that'll open up so going back inside
and I'll try to show you this that is the penetration where it went through the wall came from the back and went through the wall out to the side so that's all well and done it's all good to go Kim's done some a couple loads in it and it's all good now what I want I, I want to show you now Kim would you go get me that corn you know on RVs I've never seen and maybe I just haven't watched enough videos that the wall here and let's see if I can get where I can get some good light um, it's kind of tough let's try again well, I'm trying to get some light here. Sure. On. But anyway, you can see the walls right there. here have this finish right here. And then you got the gel coat. So what I'm going to try to show you here is this is the actual core. And I think I'll just step outside because the light's probably better. This is actually the core that came through this wall of the coach so there's the hole that Gary put through so you can see how thin the gel coat is or the fiberglass or whatever you want to call it and then the plywood backing and then it's almost like really really dense styrofoam and then here is the inside finish wall so it's like paper over maybe another quarter inch masonite or something but you can see that's real dense and you can see the size of my hand how thick it is so that right there is how thick the wall is of this unit now this unit is supposed to be weather guard optimal thermal protection so if you look at that that's what a uh, wall looks like in a fifth wheel tell them what Gary said about how strong it was and yeah and Gary did say that during their demonstrations uh, well, you tell him, Kim. He just got back from a RV show that was in New Orleans and in Las Vegas. And he said that they actually took this middle part right here and had a big sheet of it and did it straight up like a hill. And they actually had a Mercedes Benz drive up it. He said that's how strong this is. He said it was just amazing to see that this would actually hold a vehicle. Very impressive. So we've noticed that this unit here is is pretty quiet. It's not really as quiet as our 96 uh, Newmar Mountain Air when it's raining. It's, it, it seems like a lot more roof noise. But so far, it's well insulated. We haven't really had to use the furnace. So it kind of helps us, you know, stay cool. But anyway, we just thought we'd give you that update on the washer and dryer. We've got some more videos coming up. We hope you uh, enjoy our videos. We want you to like and subscribe. And, of course, always comment. And if you got any questions, let Kim know. <laughs> I'll and, answer them for you or I'll find the answer. Until then, stop the madness. And start the adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye.